Welcome to Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Colombia. This is my first time in Colombia. It's actually my first time in South America. So we've got new content and a new continent. I'm in the city of Cartagena on the Caribbean coast of Colombia. An absolutely beautiful city with some vibrant culture and mouth-watering food. So today I'm taking you for a Colombian street food tour. We're starting things out at the Bazurto Market and then I'm gonna take you around the old town. It's gonna be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end, let's go eat some Colombian street food. So this is the Bazurto Market. It's absolutely crazy in here. So much energy and the first stop is at this little juice or smoothie stall behind me. And we just ordered up a mixed juice. It's got four different tropical fruits. He's got all the fruits laying out here. So the first one is the uh, passion fruit up here. And then this one is a tree tomato. And then this is really unique. I've never seen this before. They call it a banana passion fruit. So it's soft, the inside's like a passion fruit, but it looks like a banana. And then this one they call Lulo. I don't know what it is. It looks like a persimmon, but I'm not sure what the name is in English. But let me try out this juice. Oh. It's sour, <laughs> really sour. Really tropical tasting. And he put a lot of sugar in it, but it's not as sweet as I was expecting. Oh man, it's super sour. It must be from the mixture of that passion fruit and that banana passion fruit. So popular with the locals. The atmosphere here is insane. Mm. That's refreshing. Man, it is crazy in here. The Colombian culture, I can feel the party atmosphere. There's music playing. There's this guy set up, he's got like a CD and a record stall and he's kind of like a personal DJ slash jukebox. You can just uh, pay him and he'll put on any song you want and then right beside him you can get your hair cut and you can get the street food. It's all going on here at the Bazurta Market. All right, well the music's got me in the, the mood, I guess. It's only maybe 10 a.m. but I'm gonna try myself out a local Colombian beer. This one's called Costenita. Yeah. Just a tiny little beer like that. Oh, it's nice and cold. Oh, yeah, smooth. Not too many days, I'll admit, that I have a beer before I have a coffee. But today's one of those days. Maybe that's just a normal day in Colombia. So that type of music that we were just listening to is called champeta music. It's a local type of music and you can see these guys right here, they're painting signs. And what these signs are, are for champeta parties. Basically, you might want to have a party and then you say, hey, make me up 40 signs and stick them around the city, tell people what neighborhood, what time, and yeah, all hand painted. That's so cool. They're so good at doing it too. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see they're all duplicates because this is for some party. Uh, I can't read it, but uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be a good party. Okay, I think I figured this one out. The music here is crazy, so I hope you can hear me. But basically it says Gran Salsero, so it's gonna be a big salsa party on the 26th in Sabor. Uh, this is the name of the DJ and uh, the address. <laughs> you don't need to go to a party, you can just come to the Basurto Market, it is a party. Talk about talent. One of those painters just asked us what our names were and then whipped up this beautiful uh, welcome to Bazurto, Luke and Mink. Man, that's so cool. We're just letting it dry and we're walking around a little bit more, we're gonna eat a little bit more and then come back and pick it up later. What a souvenir. Just popped into this little fruit stall. He's got all kinds of different things. Tamarind, there's mangoes. I think it's like a guava passion fruit, but this one is called Corroso, and I've never tried it before. Our guide, Willie, just recommended it, so he said there's a pit inside. It kind of looks like a grape or like an olive. Mm. It's really sour, oh my god. 
Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> Woo! Sour. So this one is the banana passion fruit that I just tried it in the uh, fruit juice that we had earlier. It looks like a banana, but the inside looks like a passion fruit. Mm. Sour too, but not nearly as sour as that other one. Mm. That's good. Those little crunchy seeds in it. Doesn't taste like banana at all. <laughs> Span here is selling another type of fruit. It's called nisparo. I've never seen it before. Um, I thought it looked like a wood apple, but it's actually really soft, so it's not a wood apple. This is what it looks like on the inside, and it smells really, really fragrant and good. So I'm, I'm not sure it's gonna be sweet or sour. Let's try it. Oh, very sweet. Mmm. Almost tastes like. Mmm. Like cinnamony or almost like a like a rum or like a whiskey or something. A little bit of like fermented flavor. Oh. It's really juicy. Mmm. Soft. Yum. Delicious. <laughs> the fruit seller at that stall right there just told us a story that apparently one day he came into the market and there was a guy set up right next to him selling the fruit for cheaper, the same fruit that he's selling for a cheaper price. And they got into a big argument and then the next day that guy came in with a machete and cut that guy's arm off. That's why he only has one arm. That might sound like a scary story, but I don't want you to get the wrong impression of Colombia because every single Colombian person I've interacted with at this market so far has been so friendly, very smiley, and uh, I feel very safe actually. One thing you'll notice in the Bazorto market are these guys with shopping carts. You can actually hire these guys to come around with you and you can shop, shop, shop and just put your stuff into the cart. I've been to a lot of crazy markets in my life. This is a crazy market. This is definitely the hottest and sweatiest market I've ever been to. I can barely breathe in here. But there's a row of street food stalls and we just stopped at this restaurant called Restaurant Rosa La Prim Rosa. They have all kinds of different things. They got some seafood rice, some chicken rice, fried fish, coconut rice, but they also have some exotic stuff over here. Come check this out. Any guesses what this might be right here? This is armadillo. I have never tried this. I didn't even know you could eat this, but I just ordered up the armadillo. You can see that's like the shell right there. And then back over here, that one's turtle. So they've got some really unique ingredients. I've got my food. I'm sitting down now and I was just told that sometimes they actually sell capybara too. So capybara, armadillo, and turtle. Some very exotic uh, items on the menu here at the Basurto Market. But I've also got a soup. This is like a beef and fish soup. There's chunks of beef, fish bones. This is my pork and chicken rice. Pretty normal, but this is definitely not. Here's my armadillo. You can hear, still got the shell on there. And then this is really interesting. This is a plantain that was kind of pickled in uh, cherry soda. Ooh, really creamy. Thick broth. Mm -hmm. Seafood flavor, but it's definitely thickened from all that beef fat. Mm. Yum. Nice natural flavor. All right, I'm saving the armadillo for last. Let's try some of the, the rice with the chicken and the pork. Mm. It's a little bit mushy. It kind of reminds me of Spanish paella. Lightly spiced with pieces of pork and chicken in there. Armadillo. All right, add it to the list of things that I've tried, I guess. Ooh, falls off the bone. It has no particular flavor. It tastes like pork, pretty much exactly like pork. So this is, like I said, plantain that's been almost pickled or like marinated, you could say, in uh, cream soda, red cream soda. It's called Temptation Plantain. 
is sweet. It's actually pretty good. Tastes exactly like cream soda, just without the carbonation. <laughs> Unique. Guys, Colombia is crazy. There's a lot of energy here. This restaurant, the one right across from restaurant Rosa La Primrosa that we ate at, is called Bonde Cecilia. And that's actually where Anthony Bourdain ate in this restaurant right here. So we tried the one across the street. I kind of regretting it now. I think I wish I would have tried that because their rice was just okay and the armadillo was good though. was Bazurto Market. What an experience. Very, very crazy in there. Um, I recommend going with a guide, but everybody was friendly and the food was good. We're gonna head into the old town, the old walled city of Cartagena and show you some more food that you can try here in Cartagena. Let's go. Cartagena is an absolutely beautiful city. I believe it's the first uh, Spanish colonial city in all of South America, or maybe the first colonial city in all of South America. And I've just come to the Plaza Santo Domingo, and you can find this statue here of this beautiful, voluptuous woman uh, by the famous Colombian artist Botero. So it says, apparently, if you rub her ass or her boobs, <laughs> that uh, it means you'll come back to Cartagena again in the future. So we're gonna take a little walk around and then uh, find some more street food to try and the atmosphere in Cartagena just never disappoints. The architecture here in Cartagena is absolutely beautiful. All kinds of brightly painted buildings and um, people with horse carts riding through the streets. Yeah, I love it. I love the vibe. Okay, I just fact-checked myself. Uh, Cartagena was actually the second city, a very important colonial city, but the actual first one was Santa Marta, which is pretty close by here. And one thing that's really interesting is you'll see a lot of these wooden balconies and then you'll also see some concrete balconies. So the wooden balconies are the original colonial buildings built before 1821 when Colombia gained its independence and then the concrete ones are afterward. Cartagena very well might be the most photogenic city I've ever walked in. It is literally beautiful. Every single corner you turn, there is beautifully colorful buildings everywhere. It's so gorgeous. Well, we For our first street food here in Cartagena's Old Town, we are trying fritos, which is honestly an entire category of street food. It's all things fried. And we've come to Fritos de Mona, a street food stall using charcoal to heat their oil right on the side of the street, just like they've been doing for the last 25 years. So there's two things we wanna try, the buñuelos, which is a ball of uh, bean flour mixed with sugar, salt, and egg. And then also the arepa huevos. Arepa is a corn flour fried pocket that's then stuffed full of egg and meat and all kinds of things. I am super excited to try it out. The 
first off, I've got the buñuelo. It's the uh, ball of bean flour and then mixed with just a little bit of sugar, salt, and egg and fresh out of the oil. I hope I don't burn myself. Let's try. Mmm. Whoa. It's got a really interesting texture. You can see there, it's almost like a gritty on the inside with a little bit of a crunch on the outside and a slight sweetness. Dry, but satisfying. It's almost like a donut, but it's got a different uh, texture because of that bean flour. Mm. A little bit nutty, actually. Mm. So this is Cartagena's famous arepa e huevo. It's double fried. So actually they, they plop an egg on the inside, a little bit of meat, and then they fry it for the second time after making the uh, corn flour exterior. This one feels really hot, so I'm gonna just take a small bite. Apparently it's good with some spicy sauce, so I'll open it up and then we'll put some in. Oh. oh, yum. That's a lot crunchier than the last one. The corn flour exterior is literally like super, super crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is crunchy. And then I got a little bit of the filling, but let's put some spicy sauce in here. I think it's gonna be better. Spicy sauce has been added. It's going for a big bite. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's satisfying. I can't get over how crunchy it is, and look at that egg on the inside. Oh man, that is good. It's like a hard boiled egg, but then you get the meat, juicy. Oh, look at that, perfect. Meat to egg to arepa ratio. Mm. The spicy sauce is awesome. My first arepa, guys. I'll never forget it, <laughs> that was so good. Their spicy sauce is incredible. 25 years frying different things on the side of the street. I love a place like that. We're gonna keep going. going for some cocktails. And cocktails in Cartagena and Colombia mean two things. One is like we know cocktails with alcohol, but also seafood cocktails. So this little stall behind me, you can see it's got a sombrero. It's called Osteria El Sombrero, and they're selling seafood cocktails. So let's go order one up. So you can choose what size you want. They have, I don't know, 15 different sizes. They go from pretty small all the way up to a massive, massive styrofoam cup full of cocktail. You can get bomba, which is like mix, or you can just get uh, shrimp. So we ordered just the shrimp and we just washed her make up a fresh batch, all done by eye. And there are a ton of ingredients. I saw a lot of limes going in there, uh, red sauce, a white sauce, lots of onions, and of course the shrimp. Oh man, I can't wait to try it out. It's packed with locals and I love the shop with the little sombrero, or the big sombrero, I should say. So the size I ordered is 24,000 pesos. Quite cheap, because look at how many shrimp they put in there. Super plump, guys all kinds of stuff going on in there. Oh man, I can't wait to try this. Yes, I am falling in love with Colombian food. Those shrimp are so good. I love the tangy, sour flavor. It's creamy, there's onions, but the shrimp, they're so plump. Oh my God. That is phenomenal. And it's served with a like a soda cracker. I don't know, I'm gonna break it off, make a little cracker, uh, shrimp cocktail sandwich if I can. Oh man, that is amazing. Wow, okay, I just fell in love with Colombian cocktails. Both kinds, the alcoholic kinds and the seafood kind. Mm. It's so fresh. You get the crunch from the raw onions in there. A little bit of sour kick. Oh, just so fresh. Definitely my favorite Colombian food so far, even though the trip just started. But that was so good. It's gonna be hard to beat. I thought it was ketchup and mayo, and I was right, but I didn't want to say because I wasn't totally sure. But yes, that's just a lot of ketchup and a lot of mayo.
this is kind of the symbol of the old town of Cartagena. It's the clock tower and every night you can find a party here, dancing, music. It is just the Colombian vibe that I am loving. These women here are the palenqueras. Palenque! Viva <laughs> palenque! La bulla! And you can see the fruit on their head like this, yeah? Oh, they're gonna give me a try. Oh, God. Is she holding on to it? <laughs> <laughs> These girls are the symbol of Cartagena. Beautiful. <laughs> Gracias. Those women were really friendly. Until I didn't have the right tip for everybody because they wanted more and more and more. I gave them like 20 pesos, which is like, I don't know, almost five bucks. <laughs> Right in front of the clock tower, there's a little alleyway that's called Portel de los Dulces. And it's famous for dulces, which are sweets, so Colombian sweets, and we've ordered up cocadas. So I've got two different kinds here. This one is with caramel, which is, you know, pretty typical. But then this red one right here is with guava. So it's coconut with guava, I'm sure some sugar and all kinds of other stuff. So let's try this one. <laughs> that's sweet. Oh. I love the coconut flavor though. Mm. Let's try the guava. Mm. You can really taste the guava. It's a strong fruity flavor. Oh man, I love anything with coconut. But damn, that's quite sweet. It reminds me of like fudge. Mm. I think I like this one. Mm. Mm. I taste coconut first and then after that, it's really sweet, but I like it. Try the guava. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. You can taste guava. What a first day here in Colombia. I am so pumped to be here in a new country. The people are so friendly and the food has been delicious. That cocktail was absolutely incredible. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified, hit the like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Shopstick Travel. Bye.